about this love. About this. About this love. How you guys doing today? My name is Del Skinner. This love. In the Baltimore area. And I wanted to try something new. Um, earlier last year, me and my wife did a podcast called About This Love. We ended up um, doing like six episodes. We never released the sixth one. Um, you, know, you know, things just kind of got hectic, so we really wasn't able to continue to do it. But we want to come back this year um, and and try something different. Kind of a podcast, but a mini po- podcast. I want to more so call it a, a sound bite, and I want I don't want to go no more than about ten minutes. So um, I'm gonna start off with the first um, topic for today that I really had on my mind was um, what's holding you back. And oftentimes, when I talk to people about things um, that they're going through in their life, whether it's wanting to do a new job, new career, new relationship, wanting to buy a house or a car, include myself. Oftentimes, I find myself asking the same question over and over in my mind when I'm listening to them, and it's what's holding you back, you know. And, and I think I think as as human beings, you know, we've all probably asked ourselves that question, and sometimes we don't even realize really what it is that's holding us back. You know, um, one of the things I know for a lot of us, it could be it could be money. You know, for a lot of us, money could hold us back from doing what we want to do. It could be circumstances. You know, things certain things that are going on. And our life that we may be preventing us from from doing what we want to do at this particular time in this particular you know in, in the present moment. Um, sometimes it, it could be our environment, our environment shaping the way we view things, which is always not necessarily true. But when you're in a particular environment, sometimes sometimes you're kind of just governed by the surroundings of that of that environment. You know, it's, it's not true for everybody, but I think for a lot of people it is true. Um, and the last one I put a stagnant mindset, and I want to talk about all these briefly. You know, and one of the things um, um, I wanted to talk about as far as money is oftentimes I, I found that wanting to do something include, you know, most most of it, most of it is really been myself. It's like we all always use money as an excuse to to do something or not to do something. And it's like, well, I can't do this because I don't have the money. You know, I'm a married man with a son. And oftentimes I think that's uh, probably one of my biggest have been my biggest excuses of the course of my life. And one of the things that I've learned is that most of the time, that's actually not actually not true. You know, it's, it's more so of a mindset or it's been circumstances, meaning that right now other things in my life are going on and I really don't have the time to pursue a passion or goal that I'm, I might have. But most of the time, what I found out, you know, now looking back is that I really didn't make the time or I didn't, or I didn't shift things around. No, I understand that's not the case for everybody, you know, but, but oftentimes you'll find that, um, you know, it is, you know, um, I, I heard a millionaire um, say one time, you know, I, I didn't become a millionaire by, by, by going home watching Netflix, you know, and I was like, wow, as, as, I, as I thought about that, I was like, well, you know, that's true, you know, because if, if I spend a, a 30 minutes to an hour a day watching, um, you know, Netflix or watching TV in general, that's an hour a day I could, I could be spending prepping for a plan or a goal that I have. And um, the next one is, is, is your environment, you know, oftentimes the people that we hang around kind of dictate how we view things. Again, this doesn't apply to everybody and it's not all the time, but, but I think for the, for the vast majority of people, you know, it is, you know, um, if you are someone who grew up in an environment where people don't really have, have a lot, you know, oftentimes your, your, your mindset may be that of lack, you know? So when you, when you, when you do something, you're doing it to make money, you know, but it's like, well, you want to make money, but what's your goal with the money? Like, what are you planning on doing with the money? You know, so just your environment. And the last I put is just a, a stagnant mindset, you know? And for me, I can more so relate to that personally because I'm an artist and it has been times in my life where I've wanted to create music or wanted to create poems or, you know, and I just, I'm just stagnant, you know, with it. Sometimes it's mainly one of my life. I'm, I'm stressed, you know, so I just wanted to dive into those topics um, real quick. You know, what's holding you back and, and ask, and ask, ask the audience the question what's holding you back you know and one of the, one of the things i'm, I'm, I'm gonna kind of just start from money and kind of go through our circumstances your your environment a state and mindset and most of the things that i'm that i'm going to use examples i'm going to use is just, just my engagement and my conversations with people or my conversation that i've had with my wife i mean i use specific names to kind of conceal the identity of people you know you know so forth and so on but what i was going to say with the, with the money part was oftentimes i've i've used the um i've used the excuse well I don't have the money, you know, um, a few years ago, me and my wife had the desire to start our own business. And oftentimes I would, I would say, well, we don't have the money to do that. And my wife would always be like, well, we can actually cut back whether it's cable or 
don't go out to eat as much or maybe not go on a vacation this year so we can begin to um, buy certain things we need for our business and have the money to start a business, you know, and kind of keep that money, kind of keep that money free so we can buy these things that we want to, we want to invest in ourselves and our own company. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. So I, I think oftentimes I find out that in most circumstances, it's not that we don't have the money as much more as it is we, we, we have the money but our money is kind of going to other things that that may not be bringing us us in more money. So for myself, I've tried to narrow down in, in my own personal life things that I can cut out to try to put somewhere else that can make me money. And my goal is isn't really to make money. My goal has always been to work for myself. But in order to do that, you, you kind of have to have money to invest in certain products that you may want to use for your business, you know, and um, I know for myself, and again, it's not the same for everybody. I know some people's circumstances are different and some people may, might be like, well, I actually don't have the money. You know, I, you know, I, I'm a single mom or a single dad. I got, I got three, four kids. I actually don't have the time or the money. And again, I understand that, you know, um, I know for a lot of people in, um, in the Baltimore area, cause I've, I've came across people who actually drive Uber or Lyft, or I even met a guy, um, that I work with, he actually um, drove, he, he delivered packages for Amazon. And basically, you know, he was just telling me, I was like, well how, well, how does that really work? He said, well, you just, you know, I guess you have to have to apply online. They check your background, whatever. I mean, I'm not sure of the actual process, but just the point was he was, he was using what he had, which was his car and just delivering packages for Amazon. And he told me he made 75 to hundred bucks a day. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's actually not bad. You know, I mean, just driving around delivering packages. The only thing it really requires from you at that moment is just having a car and gas to get around, you know? So if, if you have that, there you go. Or even driving for Uber, you know? So that's just a, a way that just using, using the tools that you already have in your possession to really make the money, you know, or circumstances. Oftentimes I find out that, you know, if you are a single parent and you have children, it may be difficult for you to necessarily um, come up with the money or come up with the, or, or the time to even run your own business, you know? And oftentimes um, what I've, what I've realized and found as I got, as I've gotten older and the, and the social media has been booming and, you know, for years now is that oftentimes you can work from home, you know, you can actually Google jobs where you can work from home. I, I know um, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, she actually um, worked for a company online where they send you reports and you just kind of um, correct, spell, spell correct, spell check and, and check for punctuation mistakes and things in the letter. And nowadays they actually have tools for that that you can actually use on your computer, like um, Grammarly. I, I use that, you know, it, it checks for spelling, uh, punctuations and capitalization, capitalizations, things like that. And your environment, you know, um, I grew up down South in North Carolina and oftentimes one of the things that, that I, I thought about as I became an adult is oftentimes how my environment actually dictated how I saw things or, or how I viewed things. It was really no, no fault of my own. It's just how I grew up, you know? But as I, as I got older and started hanging around people of different cultures and different backgrounds, I really realized that, you know, the way I saw things was just my, my perspective based off the environment that I had grew up in. And it wasn't necessarily true. I'm not saying that it was good, good or bad. I'm just saying it was just one perspective. And oftentimes when you begin to come out of your environment, which is, you know, at, at the age of 19, I, um, I went to Job Corps and, and I, I went to um, my first Job Corps Center was in Greenville, Kentucky. And from there, I moved to Washington, D.C. And I ended up getting a, um, landing a job out of um, Job Corps with Amtrak, you know, which is the railroad. But as I, um, as I progressed and met new people and new individuals and, and got new friends, often, often thing, what I realized is that people thought differently from, uh, from me. And oftentimes when I was, when I was younger, I was afraid of that or, or, and I was, I was intimidated by that. But as I, as I got older, I just learned to really embrace different things because some things that people do differently, I can use some things that people do differently. I probably can't use, but, but I, I took what I could use and what I couldn't, I dismissed it, you know? And one of the things that I will say that has, that's helped me as a business owner is hanging around other people who are business owners or, or, or even people who had that same desire. Cause most of the people that, that I, that I hang, that I hung around my friends and things, most of them, if not all of them own, own their own business. And I remember back even before I had the desire, they had the desire to do that. And once they put their desire into fruition, I follow suit too. I'm like, wow, it's not really that hard. You know, I had a competition with a, um, with, with a gentleman uh, a, a few months ago. He was talking about, becoming a business owner and, you know, not, not wanting to work for my job until I, um, I retire or until I, until I die or whatever the case may be. But I'm like, you know, 
it's there really is money out here and you really can't start your own business it's, it's not as hard as we think it is you know which leads me to my next um my last my last one is a stagnant mindset oftentimes you know when i come across people our mindset is just stagnant like we don't like i work my job it's a good job you know, he pays the bills. I got good benefits, and and I, I'm I'm gonna work this job until the day I die. It's good to me. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If if you really have a desire to work the job that you work at, it's not wrong with you working that job. You know, but I know I know for myself, I've had to tell people, you know, I don't have a I don't have a desire to work for someone my whole life, especially when I I know people who can work a couple of hours with their own business and make what I make, you know, in three days, what I make in two weeks. It's like, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't have the desire to work for someone my, my whole life, you know, but I don't have a, I don't have a problem doing that now. But again, just having that mindset and being around people who have the mindset and just knowing that starting your own business, it's really not hard, you know, you know, and oftentimes I've had to ask myself over the years, what's holding you back? You know, oftentimes when me and my wife have gotten into conflicts throughout our marriage, oftentimes she, she'll, she'll ask me, what's the hold up? Or, you know, what are you afraid of? Or, you know, what, what's the, you know, what's holding you back? You know, I'm like, I, I don't know. You know, in, in the heat of the moment, you don't really know. But when I go back and really ponder on, like, man, what is holding me back? Like, man, like, like what, what, what am I afraid of? And most of the times, um, what I've realized is that I actually had to shift the way I see things. And that's hard. You know, it's difficult, especially when you spent the majority of your life looking at things from one perspective. It's like, it's, it's very difficult to kind of shift your mind, you know. So for me, I think um, having first having God in my life has done that, and having other individuals in my life who are not who were not afraid to be business owners, who who were not afraid to quit their jobs and go out and pursue their dreams. Um, the other day, I was scrolling on Facebook and saw that one of my um, coworkers, or should I say, my ex coworkers, had actually posted that he um he he quit he quit he quit our, he quit the, the job we, we work for to pursue his own um, business and own his, his passion and his goals. I was like, wow, that, that's incredible. You know, that's that's very courageous. You know, in a world where people won't think to step out, step out their own faith. They'll just continue to work, work their job or do both. You know, if you have the time to work, work your job and, and pursue your other career, which is what I did, um, your other career, I mean, your, your own business, you know? So I just wanted to encourage, you know, people and just ask the question, you know, what is holding you back? You know, and really have you think about that for a moment, you know, just really ponder that, that thought for a while. What is holding you back? You know, and again, if you want to achieve certain goals in your life, has money been an issue? Circumstances? Your environment? A stagnant mindset? What has been holding you back? You know? And what I found in my own personal life is it's been it's been at times it's been all four. But out of out of all the four, which is money, circumstances, your environment, a stagnant mindset. The biggest of them all has been a stagnant mindset. And most of the time when I talk to people, um, mostly young men, I ask them, you know how easy it is to start your own business? Do, do you know how easy it is to start your own business? They'd be like, whoa, I can't. I'm like, dude, me and my wife started our own business a little, a little under $200. Most of the time, a lot of people have skills and talents that they don't realize people will actually pay you. P -p people will pay you for it especially if you're good at it, you know, people will pay you. But again, if you never, if you never try, if you never try to achieve that or try to pursue that, you'll never know. You'll stay at your job, you know, 20, 30 years. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's really truly what you desire. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you were like me and truly desire more, then, it, then don't let your mindset or your circumstances or money be a problem or be a factor. You know, I know people who, drove Uber or delivered packages for Amazon to achieve a certain goal. You know, whether it was, I want to go on a vacation. I, I, I want to go to Spain. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Rome. I want to go to Jamaica. They, they drove Uber or Lyft or delivered packages for Amazon, save that money. And they went, how much more can we, can we do that? If we, if, if we want to pursue, you know, the, our goals and our dreams, like whether it's being a chef or being, you know, uh, me and my wife, we actually have our own company called multidimensional media domain LLC and we do social media management for, for, for companies. We also edit podcasts. We also do um, videography. We also do photography, but it's just the thought, the thought that I thought that I had in my head or should I say we had in our head became a reality and now we're actually making money from that. 
and now my wife is about to fly to Dallas, you know, um, in a, you know, a weekend and, and, and do that, shoot videos, edit videos, take pictures. It's like, that's, that's incredible. We never would have thought that our, our thoughts in our head could have could become a reality, but they became a reality because we, we, we asked ourselves the question, what is holding us back? And once we find out what was holding us back, we find out ways we can arrange that or do different things to kind of, you know, make it work. And we did. We achieved our goal. We started our own business. Now we're, now we're getting more and more clients, you know? So if I can do it, I don't anybody can do it. I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, you know? You know? So I just want to leave you with that. I hope, I hope it encourage you again um, about this love. We're going to be giving you some, um, some encouraging sound bites. Please check out our Facebook page at About This Love. We also have another one, um, which is our business page, um, Multidimensional Media Domain, LLC. And follow us on Twitter at MDMDLLC. And we'll definitely have the links to all those in, in the description. But again, follow us, comment back. I would love to hear um, what in your life has been holding you back and what you plan on you know, doing about it. You know, and sometimes it's, it's just food for thought, you know. And in the future, we'll be putting out, we'll be putting out more stuff. Um, I think, you know, I'm not going to be putting out any long podcasts. Um, I want to put out more like, more like, uh, like I said before, sound bites, like 10 minutes or, or less. If you go a little over, that's fine. But we only want to keep it under 10 minutes. So sometimes you'll be hearing from myself. Sometimes you'll be hearing from, from my wife, Sherelle. Sometimes you'll be hearing from both of us, you know. So again, my name is Dale Skinner. I brought this love. We want to leave you with some encouraging sound bites. About this love. About this love. About this About 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 this love. About this About this love. About 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 this love. About 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 this About this About this love. About this love. 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 